Hi everyone, hope you're having a good day today. Today I'm going to be talking about some of my favorite bold lipsticks. Lipsticks perfect for fall. Um, they're for, I have drugstore high end, so let's just go ahead and get started. We'll start with um, what's on my lips. I did try to pick a lipstick that would work for if you're a little more of a neutral lover. If you have deep skin tone, medium, light, stuff like that. So um, we'll start with the one I am wearing, and that is called Rapture by Urban Decay. And this is one of my favorite. This is my favorite for year round, really. So that is what it looks like. It's a beautiful color, beautiful, beautiful color. It means more of a sheer lipstick that's, um, that Urban Decay has all different types of lipsticks. Um, so they have like a sheer, sheer kind, matte kind, cream kind. So you can find definitely find one you like. Another one I like, um, this is a gloss from the um, drugstore. I love this. It's by Maybelline. It's their, it doesn't say a specific name for the lip gloss, but... Um, it's in the shade Vision Violet, and I love this color. I think it is so beautiful. So that is what it looks like. Let's apply a little bit of that on. And you can build this up or do it more sheer. I've worn it in several of my videos. But anyway, yeah, I love this color. It's so pretty, and it's not super sticky, and it's not super thick either. Like, it's not super thin. Like, it's a really nice in the middle type of gloss. So, any of those, um, that's just the one I have that I thought I would share with you. Um, next is one by Catrice Cosmetics. Catrice, I feel like, is kind of a new brand to most of us. Um, they recently came to Ulta. And they have the, I can't remember if they have lipsticks, but I know that they have the lip cushion, which is what I have. And this shade is in Better Make a Moth. Um, they've got six shades, I believe, five or six shades. And this is a, this is a unique shade. To me, it's not a mauve shade. Uh, it's kind of an orangey burnt orange type of shade I think this is so beautiful it applies so well and it's so comfortable on the lips so I really do enjoy this and as I said I think there's about five or six shades so you can find one you like depending on your skin tone or your personal preference and the um next one well let's see I have a few by NYX so let's just go ahead and do the few from NYX I really like NYX their lipsticks are some of my favorite in general um so yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. Um, one of them, this is a bold, pretty bold shade. It's in Sweet Tart. This one, um, I think would be great for springtime, but if you still like a bold lip for autumn, I feel like you would like this. This is really pretty. It's a unique shade to me as well. I think it's like a bright pink, but it's got a bit of a reddish tint as well. Um, this is just really gorgeous. Applies very well, works very comfortably. Um, the next one is a gorgeous color. It's in Midnight Swim. This is by NYX as well. I love this shade. This is pretty new to me. But it's a gorgeous shade. I love that. That's been one of my favorites. Next, I have the shade um, Ripe Berry. This is a really nice dark, beautiful, gorgeous color. And I will say with this darker shade, you do have to build it up a little more. Like it doesn't go on quite as um, pigmented as the lighter shade. But it is worth it. It's beautiful. I love, love, love it. Or you can use a lip liner. Alright. And then the last shade by NYX I want to recommend is Afternoon Heat. This is a gorgeous red. So, yeah. Those are beautiful. They're from the drugstore. They're six seven dollars you can get them for buy one get one half off and all that fun stuff so i would totally recommend those they're amazing they're wonderful they apply really well they last so i do enjoy those two lip glosses uh i recommend or just these lip glosses in general these are the Lorac um alter ego lip gloss 
boxes. So I, was, I have the color icon and then the color domin dominatrix. I always have a lot of time pronouncing this one. But anyway, um, I love this one. What I like to do here, I'll, I'll go ahead and show the other two shades that I like. Um, I have lip line, two lip liners from Wet n Wild that I was going to recommend. So what I like to do is say I'll take this red shade, which is in Red the Sea. I'll line my lips in this. Then I'll take this NYX lipstick and then this Lorac lip gloss. And this is such a beautiful um, trio. This is a beautiful trio. And the same thing with um, these three. This Wet n Wild lip liner in um, Plum Together. And then the NYX lipstick in Ripe Berry. And then uh, the Lorac gloss. They're beautiful together. It's a very bold lip. Um, and it's beautiful. And just make sure when you wear a bold lip before you put the gloss on you can take a tissue blot it and reapply it and another trick um put your finger in your mouth and you get the excess um lipstick off so you won't be getting it all on your teeth so those are some awesome ones i like to pair together um so yeah and then the last two are from mac um this one is um, mid mom and I did want to say there is a shade there called twig my sister got that and she is more of a neutral type of lover I'm more I'm everywhere with my lip products eyeshadow everything y'all y'all see sometimes I just look crazy but anyway she got the color twig and I think if you have a fair complexion like I do I feel like you would like that it's more of a neutral color but it's still a bit out of a neutral comfort zone and it looks beautiful on her so I would recommend that one but I do not have that one to show you but I do have this shade called mid mom this was like my go-to autumn shade last year, and I'll show you the one I got this year. So that is what it looks like. It's beautiful. And then the shade I got this year for like my go-to autumn shade is the shade called Captive. It is so beautiful. MAC lipsticks are some of the best on the market, in my opinion. So that is what Captive looks like, and these are amazing they go on beautifully they wear comfortably they have a large shade selection so um depending on what your preference is skin tone all that awesome stuff you can find some that you like so those are some of my favorite full lipstick must-haves ones that i like i enjoy and those are brands that i also stand behind and other have other lip colors by them that i really enjoy too so yeah let me know what your favorite bold lip products are lip colors lip or like brands for lip products. I'm always intrigued to try a new lip product. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. And yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say. Um, I know holiday videos, I almost started doing some Christmassy videos soon. I'm looking at some holiday things I'd like to purchase, um, Christmas kits and stuff like that. So I have some holiday videos, gift ideas, uh, gift guides and stuff like that coming up real soon. So I'm excited. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having an awesome day, awesome week, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.